afternoon. Hi, it's Debbie from Homebodies. I'm just waiting to connect for our 12:30 class. I'll give you guys a couple seconds to get connected. Um, if you have light weights today, you might want to use them. At some point, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. It's allergies. <laughs> okay. So it's a hit class today. High intensity interval training not crazy off the wall things that we're gonna do but we're gonna do them so I'm gonna again wait for you guys to connect I'll have a little seat down here to like start seeing some of you show up it's Thursday it's um, a beautiful day here in South Florida deceiving but beautiful so if you are just joining go ahead and uh, Grab a mat if you have, light weights if you'd like. You don't need to. This is a total body weight workout um, if you choose it to be. I'm just giving people a couple of seconds to connect here. It's a HIIT training, high intensity interval training. In about 30 seconds, I will go over with you what we're doing. Everybody having a lazy morning here? Come on and join us. I know there's a few people who are regularly here on our screen, so I'm going to give you another couple seconds. I'll start the workout and explain it to you. So, today's workout is three minutes each of six different sets. Each set has three exercises in it, which will change rapidly within 15 seconds. So every 15 seconds, we'll be doing a new exercise, and then we'll have a little recovery. Hina. So. 15 seconds of three different exercises, recovery for 15 seconds, and we repeat that for a total of three times each set, six sets. All right, so grab whatever you've got, light weights if you need them. We're gonna just do a little bit of a warm up. Hey, Laura. Um, and then we're gonna get started, all right? So, getting ready, just um, let's start with a nice easy shoulder roll back and around. Big opening in your shoulders and then reverse that coming back and around again. Bring your shoulders up to your ears, lift them up and drop them down. Just do that a few times here. Don't forget to breathe and then start to make some torso rotations, pivoting on the outside leg and we start to maybe throw a little punch side to side. So I'm gonna give you options for all the exercises and now take the arms and just swing them side to side with a little, maybe a little dip in a squat and a little tap. So I'll give you the options for any changes of exercises going either more intense or less intense. And then let's go back to that torso turn and add a little press, a press or a punch. We're gonna do some punches today too. In three, two, and one, let's go do a squat. Weight back in your heels. Just dropping your weight back into the heels, chest stays up. I want you to work as hard as you can, but I want you to take what you need out of this, right? Alternating front lunges, just stepping forward, right leg, left leg. Just driving those hips forward, alternating. Pressing through the front heel. We've got four, three, two. Then you have one more on the left leg. And one, drop back to your squats one more time. Weight back in your heels, chest is up. The workout should take us about, oh, what is it? About 20, 20 sweat, five minutes. Three, two, and one, hands on your thighs. Round your back, pull your belly to your spine, release it. Round your back, pull your belly to your spine, release it. And round your back all the way in. Stop halfway, bring your arms out in front of you, stretch that upper back. And then bring the arms all the way up. Lean to the side, lean to the other side, come back to the center, and roll your shoulders. All right, guys, you keep moving. 
I'm going to explain it one more time. We've got six different, different um, sets of exercises. Each one is three minutes of time. In that three minutes, we have 15 seconds uh, of three different exercises with a recovery. You don't have to remember any of this. I'm gonna lead you through it. Our first exercise is a squat jump. So you're either gonna come up and down and drive your weight back into your heels, or you're gonna do a squat and maybe onto your toes if you'd like. 15 seconds. Then we have jumping jacks, arms up, big arms. I'm gonna keep it so I don't touch my garage. Or you can step tap to the side. Then we have pop squats. We're just gonna reach in between our legs, come down and come up. If you want, you just step side to side. All right, that's our first set. Three minutes of that, then we get recovery, and I'll show you the next set of exercises. All right, thumbs up, guys. We're gonna get that started. In about five seconds, you'll hear the bell maybe. Three, two, one. Good, squat jumps begin, go. So we're gonna squat. And I'm gonna cue you down at 15 seconds. Remember, you can just do a squat. Come on your toes. We're going to jumping jacks in three, two, and one, go. Big arms or you're stepping side to side. Keep it going. After this is pop squats. All you got, guys, is five seconds. Three, two, and pop squats. Go. Good. Keep it going. That's it. Five seconds. Remember, you can go side to side. And rest. All right, we're gonna repeat it. Starting with squat jumps. Five seconds. Three, two, go. Jump. Now, if you're not jumping, that's okay. You can still use your arms and get a little momentum there. And breathe. Good, jumping jacks in three, two, one now. Side to side if you want. Five seconds. Pop squats. You got it guys. Hang in there. Hold on to it. Hi Michelle. Hey Rebecca. Five seconds to recover. Three. Two, rest. One more round. You get a 30 second recovery after your 15 second recovery, so that's a nice one. All right, here we go in three, two, go. Jump. Remember, you don't have to jump, but use those arms. Woo. Yes, get it going. After this is Jackson, three, Two, one, go. Big arms, side to side, if you want. Five seconds to cross squats. Go. That's it. Another five seconds, guys. Rest. All right. Our next exercise. Three exercises. You're going to hear a bell for your 30 second recovery. It's a sumo squat. Tailbone tucks, I hope. <laughs> and we just do punches. With or without weights. All right? Just punches. Any punches you want. Then we've got two more jumps for punches. Two jumps or squats four punches. Then you can take your hands behind your head. If you have the weights, because this moves fast, just keep it here and just do your side bends. Five seconds. Punches. Get down low. Go. Just 15 seconds. Don't stop. That's it. Five seconds, we do the two jumps or two squats. And four punches, go. One, two, one, two, three, four, go. On your pace.
That's it, five seconds. Side bends, side to side. If you wanna drop an arm, that's okay. Five seconds, then we recover. Three, two, rest. All right, may or may not be enough time to get some water. Back to your sumo squat position. Arms ready. Three, two, go. Punch. Sit down low, guys. Stay low, please. Work the obliques with that rotation. Five seconds. Back to two jumps and four punches in three, two, go. Two jumps, four punches. Pop. Maybe you want uppercuts here. Yeah. Three, two, and one. Arms behind your head. Bend your knees. Go side to side. Here's the good news, guys. You're going to have recovery in five and your final set of this workout. This one. And rest. All right, 15 seconds. Takes us back to our punches. You choose what punch you want to do. If you're familiar, tailbone tucks. Get low. In three, two, go. Maybe combinations. Five seconds. Back to the squat or the jumps. Three, two, go. Two jumps, four punches. Good, three seconds. Two, and one, side to side. I'm only using two pound weights here. You can go heavier always. We're gonna use weights again. One of our last exercises, if you choose. 15 seconds and recover. All right, good. Next exercise, right leg, knee drivers. You're gonna hear the bell in five seconds. So the right leg's behind you. We're just gonna drive arms and legs. Keep it going. Or switch sides, and switch sides. So we've got it on both sides. And then we have fast knees or high knees, I call them. So you can do your jumping knees, or you can just, we did something like this Monday, I think. Tuesday, I believe, right? Here, here, here. Just keep it going faster. You got five seconds. Right leg back, left knee bend. Ready? In three, go. Good, stay as low as you can. Drive those arms. Stay into that left hip. Five more seconds, then we switch legs. Three, two, switch, go. Keep driving the arms. Pump it like you're sawing through the wood. Go, go, go. Five seconds to those knees. Three, two, one, go. Pop, 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 like you've got a soccer ball on top of it, right? Little hacky sack, hacky sack. Make those arms go with you. Three seconds, two, and one. This one, a lot of arm work. Here, 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 right? Keep it moving. Right leg behind you. Drive that right leg forward. Three, two, go. Come on, run it out. Keep it going. Yeah, take over control, guys. Three, two, other leg, go. Come on, pump it, pump it, pump it. Alternating knees in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Or you pump it hard in high knees. You go for it, guys. Little oblique. Five seconds. Three, two, rest. Good job, guys. Heart rate going up. Mine is. 10 seconds, last set. The rest of the sets are on the floor. 
Right leg back. Get low. Ready? Go. This is what we call running fast, going nowhere, huh? Going nowhere fast. Go. Three, two, switch legs, go. You know what's last? Those high knees. This is our third set, I think, right? Three, two, one, go. Keep it going, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, rest. Onto your floor. Forearm plank. That's simple, right? You got a forearm plank. So I'm going to show you what happens. Hold your plank. Then we tap our knees. Then we go forward and back. All right? I hope you can see me. Maybe I'll take it to this side. I'll go this way. All right, you got 15 seconds. We're going to hold our plank. Then we're going to tap our knees. Then we're going to do those little shoulder forward and back. Get ready. On your forearms. Five seconds. Legs out. Ready? Hold. Not your breath, guys. Push through your forearms. Now I want you to push your forearms to the floor. Squeeze your arms towards each other and towards your knees. Five seconds. Knee taps, go. Notice I'm not lifting my hips. I'm just touching my knees down. From here, we're gonna rock forward and back. In three, two, and go. Forward and back. You're rolling over your toes. It's like a little hinge going forward and back. A lot of shoulder stability here. Five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Knees down. Feel free to take a child's pose. Maybe you take some water or you wipe down. All right. Back on your forearms. Legs back. Three, two, go. Hold it. Again, think of squeezing your arms towards each other and towards your hips. Hold. So don't collapse through your middle body. Keep that back strong. Three seconds. Knee taps in two. Go. Tap, 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 tap. No hip movement, just knee. Five seconds. Three, two, go forward and back. Hinge, roll over the toe or on the toes. Forward and back, hip hinge or shoulder hinge. Keep it going. Five seconds, that's all you need. Three, two, rest, child's pose. Last set here, all right? We got about five seconds coming up. On your forearms. Three, two, legs out, hold. Now, be careful, again, no collapsing in your hips or your shoulders. The knees are lifted, the abdominals are lifted. You're pressing through those forearms to keep you stable and strong. Three, two, knee taps, go. Keep it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Five seconds to our final work in this row, in this um, set. Go, forward and back. Keep looking ahead, guys. Five more seconds. And rest. All right, child's pose if you want. Let me show you your next exercise. Hands down. You're in a down dog. I might have to move myself. You're gonna kick the right leg in the air and just kick up. Then you're gonna do the other side. And then you're gonna do a dolphin push up. So we'll do one leg at a time each step. You're gonna come here. I'm sorry, not a dolphin push up. Down dog push up. Knees down, chest press, hips back up. So the knees come down when we do our push up. And then we just have a regular old push up. All right, I might have to turn this way for you. All right? 
Here we go. Down dog. Right leg in the air. Go. Kick. Kick. So you're lifting your left foot off the floor. You're kicking your right leg in the air. We're going to stay on this leg. Five more seconds. Three. Two. One. Good. Now, dolphin, uh, down dog to a push-up. Knees down. Hips up. Push up, knees down. Don't know if you can see me. Push up. Down, or down dog. In three, just your push up, straight leg or bent leg, you choose. In other words, knees to the floor. You can have a wide grip for these last five seconds. Three, two, one. Sit back and stretch. Child's pose. We go back to a down dog. Left leg is going in the air. For that donkey kick, you're gonna drive that right foot off the floor. All right, hips up, legs up, left leg in the air, go. Kick, 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 kick. Keep it going, gang. Five, three, two. Down dog to push up on your knees, go. Down dog, push up. Hips up, knees down. Hips up, knees down. Five seconds, push-ups is next. You're almost done, guys, imagine. All right, push-ups, go. Keep looking forward. Any variations you want on your push-ups are fine. Close grip, wide grip, one arm, stagger, three, two, child's pose rest. Last set, donkeys. Alternating legs or just lifting one leg at a time. All right? So it's very quick. I gotta go this way. Ready, set, go. Right leg, left leg. You can jump it here and kick your butt. You can go fast or slow. Doesn't matter to me, only to you. Three, two, down dog to push up. Go. Five seconds, gang. We're gonna hold just the push-ups right here. Go, push-ups. Don't cheat yourselves. Keep your arms wide or close. Knees up or down, you only got five more seconds. Five. And rest. All right. Now, I'm gonna bring my weights back, but you don't have to. The last exercise is a sit-up, front, side press, right? Front, side. Second will be Russian twist, legs up or down. Third is the combo. So I'm gonna come up, punch, punch, twist, twist, come down, punch, punch, opposite side, twist, twist. It's fast, right? So if you wanna stay on one side for one, the other side for the other, you're good. You got 10 seconds, so if you need your weights, get them. If you can't sit all the way up, just come to a crunch and do a crunch side to side. In three, two, one, go. This is our last set, guys. Sit up, punch, punch. Go. Sit up, punch, punch. Five seconds and we stay up for a Russian twist. Three, two, and stay up, Russian twist. Side to side, try to touch the floor every time you put your hands on the side, right? Five seconds, combination. Sit up, push, punch, and go. Punch, punch, twist, twist, down. Punch, punch, twist, other side, down. Keep it going. Almost there. Whoops, I forgot a punch. Punch, punch, now rest. Take a short break. We're going back to the sit-ups, front and side punches. Five seconds. Three, two, go. Punch, punch, side. Front side. Notice that I'm not dropping my back and hitting my tailbone. I'm scooping down each time. Punch, punch. Stay up. Russian twist, side to side. If you're working just one side, feel free to do that. Next set, you'll get both sides. 
Five seconds. Combination in three, two, in one. Go. Sit up, punch, punch, twist, twist, go down. Sit up, punch, punch, twist, twist, go down. Sit up, punch, punch, twist, twist. Good. Punch, punch, twist, twist. One more. And rest. Last set. So if you're doing an individual side on your Russian twist, you're going to have to add them both in now. You got five seconds on your back. Ready? Three, two, go. Sit up, punch, punch, twist, twist. Keep it going. Oh, I, you know what? No twist. <laughs> Rest. All right, but you got extra, extra credit for that. All right, good job. It's all it means. Now go to your Russian twist. Go, go, go. So you might slow it down just to touch the floor. And now the combination. Sit up, punch, punch, twist, twist. Sit up, punch, punch, twist, twist. Keep it going, guys. Let's do this for another 15 seconds. Go. Last and final set. Good. You're gonna get recovery time because you're done. 10 seconds. And ding, ding, ding. Woo! Good job, guys, okay. Ah, you're on the floor, let's just stay there. Lay back on your back. Hug your knees up to your chest. Grab a hold of the shins, or maybe your fingers, wrists, forearms, elbows, depending on where you are, in flexibility terms. But keep your back on the floor. So hug your knees in, nice big hug. Take a breath in, lift your head and shoulders up. And then let them come down. Good, hold, open up your knees, make circles on your hips. I hope you enjoyed that, any part of it, maybe one part of it, <laughs> maybe one exercise, maybe 15 seconds worth, or maybe you like the whole thing and you want to repeat it because it was so much fun. Hug your knees into your chest. Remember, I'll save this on Facebook, but I'll also have it on the YouTube channel. Come back up to your hands and knees. Do a little cat-cow stretch. If you have weights, move them carefully off to the side and don't break your toe like I did. Step your right foot forward, come all the way forward, make sure that that knee is over the ankle, the heel's on the floor, and you're stretching through that left hip flexor. So we did some leg stuff, so I want to really release the hip flexors for you. Drop your shoulders down, keep pressing that left hip forward, maybe squeezing that left glute a little bit to release the hips. And then come on back and just switch legs. So left leg comes forward, knee over the ankle, just make sure your heel's on the floor. Pushing forward on that left thigh, pushing that right thigh forward, squeezing your right glute, releasing into the psoas. Shoulders drop down. You got me nice and sweaty, so thank you. And then come back. Let's just bring our feet together. So come to a standing forward bend. Open up your legs. Fold your body in half. Hang your head and sway side to side. Come to the center. Let's take our arms behind our back, interlace your fingers, look forward, lengthen, and then fold over your legs, bend the knees as much as you need to. Hang your head down, shake it out, yes and no. And then release the arms, let them dangle. Chin to chest, roll up slowly. Shoulders roll back and around. Bring the arms all the way overhead. Grab that left wrist with the right, lift up and over to the right side. So, High intensity can be high intensity just in terms of how quickly we might move from exercise to exercise, station to station, or um, just you know within that one workout. So it doesn't have to always be crazy plyometrics, but that's sometimes in there. I mean, I gotta tell you, sometimes it is. And then bring your arms forward and round your back again. Pull the belly into the spine. Tomorrow, last day of our work week workouts, hands behind your head will be BLT, buns, legs, thighs. So if you're working out in the morning, don't do a leg workout. Get them warm, maybe do some yoga to stretch. Come back to the center, lift your chest up. 
speaking of yoga, I'll be live with yoga on Sunday morning at 10.30. Arms behind your back, knuckles down one more time, chest open. And then just, um, sometimes I do these little pop-ups, so just, you know, pay attention. Release your arms, roll your shoulders back and around. Take a big breath and bring your arms all the way with you. And then bring your prayer to your heart center. And I want to thank you guys, because always, um, I know you think that I'm doing this for you, but I'm really doing it for me. It's to keep me as sane as everybody else. So I appreciate that you're here. Um, I appreciate any feedback that you have. If you like, you don't like. If you want more of something or less of something, tomorrow again is BLT, Buns, Legs, Thighs. And I want you to have a great rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay home, stay fit. I'll see you tomorrow.